for harassment purposes while he texts over to an MMM ball as an alternative. So uh, let's see. It looks like Eek is getting a Roach Warren, a Spire, faster Overlord movement speed, and this is Jimmy focusing on these three barracks. So we'll have to see if he tacks Tech Labs onto all three, or you know, Reactor, Reactor, Tech Lab. It looks like Tech Lab, Tech Lab, Tech Lab. So mass mass marauders likely to be seen. Um, we haven't seen a ghost academy yet, I, although he doesn't really have need for one at the moment, as they're only really effective against infestors. Uh, again, in this Zerg matchup, so. Eek actually throwing down a second hatchery at his natural, so he's going to be on two base, three hatchery. That's a ton of production. He's also getting a Baneling Nest and an Evolution Chamber. Man, Eek is just all over the place. And, uh, yep, Spire's almost done here. The Thor dropship is coming in. He may, may or may not be able to do some damage. It looks like the Queen spotted him pretty quickly, and he cannot hang around for too much longer, or he will lose that medevac, and the Thor drop will be totally futile. So it looks like he's just going to give up on it overall and um, head back home. Eek doesn't really have too much out on the field right now. If we check out the units, he's got eight Baneling Cocoons, uh, six Zerglings, six Roaches, Versus two Thors, seven Marines, three Marauders, and two Medivacs. Hmm, not sure who I'd give that to since, you know, these Banelings can be incredibly powerful against an MMM ball because the Medivacs obviously don't have time to heal up, you know, these huge explosions of Baneling acid. But uh, lots and lots of Marauders coming out now. This is Jimmy must have had a good feeling about this Baneling nest coming up because if we take his view, he never saw it. I don't believe he saw any Banelings earlier during that little Thor attempt. So this is Jimmy, you know, he's in a good position building Thors and Marauders. I have actually really like it, except, um, you know, if... If Eek chooses to utilize this Spire, he hasn't thus far. Let me check production. No, he still hasn't built any Mutalisks. He has none on the field and none in production. So if he actually made the switch, it might be a good time to do it. A big crowd of Mutalisks can take out Thors, no problem. And if all he's got left after that is a bunch and bunch of Marauders, he'll be in good shape. But Medivac's still coming out. Nope. Um, one after another. You know, keeping ahead of a supply. That's always good to do. Eek at 115, 120 army, and uh, this is Jimmy actually falling behind at 94. But a uh, big difference there could be the unit count with the workers, 50 drones to 42 SEVs, and eh, not that big of a difference. Um, I see a lot of roaches, you know, that's going to eat up supply very quickly, but I guess Eek is still um, banking on roaches working as the tanks for these, the rest of these Zerglings and Banelings, you know, roaches out front, and then everything else sort of floods in around the sides. But, you know, he's, like I said earlier, he's got these three ba uh, three hatch, two base, and a Hydralisk den coming in now. So he's going to have pretty much the full range of units to work with. He'll be able to switch um, production very quickly based on what he finds in this first engagement, you know, and he's gonna see a lot of Marauders, not too many Marines, and a lot of Thors. Uh, looks like the Thors are busy way, way, way over here. I'm not sure why, but, uh, you know, they're so far out of position that these Banelings, Roaches, and Zerglings are gonna be able to clean up this Thor, no problem. You know, there is a Planetary Fortress for this is Jimmy, the, and that's gonna be enough to clean up Banelings and Zerglings, as well as stemmed Marauders with that Medivac support. There's only one Medivac, but wow, you know, he has no anti-air. He's not gonna be able to take out that Medivac anytime soon. And the Planetary Fortress excellent choice by this is Jimmy you know he could not have picked I mean it's it's just a great counter and it's a good idea all the time so two Thors actually three Thors in play here as well as three medevacs but the only AA he's got at his main is two hydralisks or maybe oh actually more hydralisks okay so this is Jimmy may or may not be having any success here it looks like a medevac with a Thor did go down and um, he is going to be forced to run on home at this point. You know, so that attack wasn't too effective. He killed a lot of Marines, but not much else. He also did able. He also was able to down a Thor, but we now have five barracks pumping out one Marauder at a time. That's pretty good, as well as more Thors and more Medivacs. So, you know, this is Jimmy has chosen his unit composition, and he's going to stick with it. 
whereas Eek, you know, really liking uh, the Roach Hydra mix of days past, less likely to see that now just because the Roach food increase, you know, whereas these, uh, what, 20 Roaches used to cost 20 supply, they're now costing 40 supply. So, I mean, obviously, that's making a lot less room for more Hydralisks and, you know, Zerglings, Banelings, everything else. Still has not built a single Mutalisk. I guess he does not like his odds against those Thors, and I would definitely, definitely not be so, oh wait a second are these overlords upgraded they are not upgraded to transport units as you know thinking maybe he's moving his whole army over here to do a doom drop but he's actually not doing that at all i don't know why he sent his entire army to do the job of five zerglings it would have been really cool to see overlord drop you know research because then you know they'd be able to crush this you know poorly defended base of this is jimmy Wow, and I think this is Jimmy actually responded to it as a threat and moved all his units over here in preparation. It looks like he's worried about it now. He's building his vision all over the place as well as turrets. But, um, you know, if this continues for too much longer, I like this is Jimmy's unit composition better than Eek's, even though Eek has 20 more food. It's because of these huge amount of roaches. Wow, so many roaches now. 25 roaches for 50 food. That's just insane compared to all these Marauders and Thors. I would not put the Thors in the front like this. Oh, look at this burrow! A scan goes down, so he is going to be able to pick him off. Oh my goodness. Poor, poor choice of burrow for uh, Eek. He is going to be, you know, swamped by these hundred Marauders in play. And, um, you know, this is Jimmy choosing now for his push timing, and he's got lots of Medivacs, lots of Marauders, all these Lings, Hydras, Roaches. Pretty much, wow, it looks like they're being really, really effective. The Thors are in the back now, just killing units left and right. Uh, looks like the speed, you know, he actually does have the superior forces here. He's gonna be able to chase this is Jimmy away, and probably if he does a counterattack right now, he'll probably have really, really good odds as his food count now is at 120, whereas this is Jimmy is down to only 98. I thought the roaches were going to be a hindrance for Eek, but it looks like they did their job outstandingly, letting those hydras and zerglings move in around the sides and take out everything that they needed to. Oh, he's in range of this planetary fortress now, just racking up kills. Wow, 23 kills for a planetary fortress. That's pretty darn good, but, you know, obviously the planetary fortress can't come along for the ride for any kind of offensive push, so he is going to need a better unit composition or just more units to be able to, you know, keep Eek at bay. Man, that actually took a huge turn I was not expecting. It looks like, you know, <laughs> Eek has lost 176 units worth 11k resources. This is Jimmy losing 105 less units, but nearly the same resource count. It's pretty ridiculous if you think about it. And, you know, Sheth, or not Sheth, why did I 